Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. Thank you for joining me again. So as the new season rolls in, um, I always seem to acquire a few more pieces at the beginning of each season. So I thought I would share with you some new in products. Now a little disclaimer, I think, uh, I think most of these, I think there's just one piece that I've bought, but most of these are PR products sent by the brand. However, it's all been handpicked by me, um, so all the pieces you see are things that I genuinely love and want, and also really want to support the brands that have sent these pieces over as well. And they are brands that I think you will really like, and I see my job as to share new and emerging brands, um, also existing bigger brands that you can shop from, but I like to cover quite a wide range of different kinds of brands. Um, just to bring awareness to you um, and show you the products out there. So I just thought I'd note that. Shall we get started in the video? Oh, just to mention before we crack on my outfit, this blouse is from Pixie Market. It's actually, I'd say maybe about two years old now, um, but I love it, it's so chic. And um, I saw it before on the rail, I'd obviously worn it and undone all the buttons. Um, and I thought actually that might make quite a nice overshirt. So I've just got a simple strappy top on. This one was uh, from Amazon Fashion. My old Zara belt and Marcella London trousers. Okay, let's start with an accessory first. So, you know I'm such a belt lover. I feel like I'm a bit of a belt addict at the minute, but I really feel like they just create the outfit when you're wearing simple pieces like this. I think without the belt, it wouldn't look the same. Um, so this one is from a brand called Black and & Brown and they are actually now stocked on net porter as well. And there's just such chic pieces. You can really smell the leather on this as well. It feels such beautiful quality actually. Um, and I chose this one because I thought it'll look quite cool. I'm nothing really like this, um, but I do love my black and brown belt. But I thought I've not really got one in this shape. So it's got the slimmer bit here. It's very much kind of equestrian like, um, and I could just see it kind of over some trousers, um, belted like high waist trousers, maybe black trousers and a black top, um, and just kind of giving a plain outfit an extra punch. So I think this is a really great one if you're looking for something that will kind of go with a lot. I think this can definitely go with lots of different things, but also um, just kind of provide something a little bit different. And I think over dresses as well um, at this time of year would look really chic. This says a size, it says 28 and 70. Um, I'd say it's maybe slightly on the smaller size for me, but it definitely fits. And I can really see me wearing this a lot through the new season to provide just something different to my other styles of belts. I have quite a few coats on this rail. It wasn't really meant to be a coat haul, but I guess it's that time of year when um, coats come onto our radar again. So this, let's stand over here. So this is from Hush and it's again, beautiful quality. I'm really impressed by the quality of this. And I decided to go up to a size 12. So that's maybe a size or two. I usually would say actually I'd go for a 10 and a coat, but um, I definitely sized up here and I love the fit of it. It's, it fits really well in terms of it's kind of loose and slouchy, but not drowningly oversized. And I feel like this color is so useful. It's just a really muted kind of stony, uh, it's got kind of flecks of beige in there. Um, and I just think it will go with so much. It's one of those coats that you could wear with maybe slightly warmer shades, but also cooler tones like greys and blacks. And yeah, I feel like I'm really gonna get my wear out of this. And although it's plain, I feel like if you kind of drape it over your shoulders, you could wear it in the evening. And it really does sort of pack a punch despite it being quite a simple coat. And the length of it as well is so nice. I just feel like this is a really, really good investment coat. My next piece is something really simple because I think you should always remember the basics. Um, and I think sometimes in hauls, people get lost in all the kind of fancy new things um, and the basics don't really come into it that much. But I just sort of wanted to put this in here. I know it's so simple, but um, it's just a Gap t-shirt, long sleeves. It's slightly cropped, which I like. Sometimes when you get um, a long sleeve t-shirt, they can be very much oversized, the whole t-shirt, like too long. Whereas this is nice because it's quite slouchy 
in its fit, but it's also not too long. I wouldn't say it's cropped. It's not like a long kind of t-shirt. So I just feel like this will fit in so well. I'm wearing a lot of long sleeve t-shirts and I think my next addition to my wardrobe will be a black version of this. So I can wear it in the evening with a bold necklace or some statement earrings. And I just love the simplicity. I mean, I don't need to explain how to wear this, but um, it will go with so much. You could just see it under, actually this coat would go so nicely with white. I could see it under that, but uh, yeah, so flexible and a really nice shape and cut as well. Oh, and I went for a medium in that. So my next piece I just bought from Mango. I wore it last night for the first time because we went out for a walk when it had gone dark and it did go a bit cooler and it's really warm and snuggly. So I would highly, highly rate this if you're looking for a warm coat that's not really heavy and bulky. Um, it's very, very light. It's got a tight waist here. So it's so cozy and it's also got the buttons at the front too and there are I think three colours of this so I've got this one that I've got here which is like I'd say it's a almost got a green tinge but it's like a, a very light beigey cream almost it's quite hard colour to pinpoint actually they also do a khaki version which I think uh, I was kind of tossing up between the khaki version and this one and then they also do a black one as well so I just think this is going to be so useful. You know, if you kind of go on a walk or just popping out and you want to look quite chic, but um, also not kind of too dressed up in a formal coat, this is just a great one. It keeps you nice and warm, perfect for the rain. I think you could also definitely wear it to work, you know, if you're commuting in the morning and it's cold and it falls quite, quite long on me as well. I'm just over five foot six. I think it falls at a really nice length. And I got a medium in this as well, just because I wanted it slightly oversized and a bit more kind of cuddly so I could get some layers under as the season turns. So these trousers I'm obsessed with, uh, let's zip them up. They are from a brand called Black to Grey. Um, go and have a look at them on Instagram. These are this kind of gorgeous, soft, wide leg jeans. You'll know, um, <laughs> you've been following me or subscribing to me for a while, you know I'm a big fan of slouchy trousers um, and these are just perfect. I've been eyeing up some like this for ages um, and they got in touch with me on Instagram actually. It was just drawn straight to these trousers, so fab. So I know a lot of you are on the hunt for some sustainable brands. This is one, black to grey. I will be leaving the link below. But basically they make sort of a limited edition stock. So if you do like something, you need to sort of get on it because they make small quantities so that they don't overproduce pieces and then end up with lots of waste. And they also have an, op an option. If you don't want your piece anymore, you can send it back to them and they either recycle it or resell it. So um, yeah, you can go and check out more on their website about that, but I think They've got a great concept going on. They're a really cool brand and yeah, I just highly rate these for the quality as well, beautiful. So if you follow me on Instagram, it's at Lydia Jane Tomlinson, by the way, um, then you'll have probably seen me sporting this Jane and Tash leather jacket. Oh, I'm just obsessed with this. I think it just looks so cool with everything I put on. Um, so I wore it the other night for a friend's birthday meal and actually, I think I was, wearing these trousers. I think I was wearing these trousers, a grey knit, this and a pair of heels and I just feel like it instantly makes your outfit look really cool and chic and effortless. They are an investment piece but I think they are definitely a shape and style that you can get so much wear out of. They make a really nice evening jacket for the autumn winter as well. I didn't realise until this arrived that I was actually sort of lacking something just like this. Something that wasn't a blazer because blazers can often be a little bit long, especially if you are wearing slouchier trousers like I'm doing here. To wear a blazer with that can sometimes look a bit overwhelming, especially for the evening. So this is perfect because you can actually keep it on. You know, somewhere's a bit chilly. This is definitely a jacket that's part of your outfit and your look, so I think it looks really chic. I think gorgeous with dresses. I could see it with this belt, actually, with like a, a long dress, this belt, pair of heeled boots, and the uh, jacket. Or equally, I actually paired it with some joggers the other day, and it looked really good. It just, again, gave it that kind of cool feel. Very effortless and relaxed. 
and you know I talk about my leather jacket all the time so it's nice to have a slightly different shape of leather jacket to play with and I decided to go for this in the chocolate brown because I've got my black leather jacket, I've got black blazers and also they, they do do some really nice beige and light colour ones but I thought just for something a bit different the chocolate I think would really work um, especially with kind of darker shades as well I think it would look really nice with black so that's why I went for this um, and can't rave enough about this I can see it with long skirts slouchy trousers like this jeans joggers like I say dresses I think I'll definitely be getting my wear out of this particularly for the evening and because it's a bit loose you can layer it up underneath too and just before we go on to our final piece um, I just wanted to take a second to ask if you could hit that subscribe button whilst you're still here with me and um, be very much appreciated so finally if you watch my previous video I think that will have gone up before this one um, you'll have seen me wearing these boots these are so cool I love these from Charles and Keith um, they're a really lovely brand and quite affordable as well if you if you're not familiar with them but I just thought you know I've got quite a lot of black boots I think this season I want to slightly gravitate towards the all black because I often end up with kind of black boots, I've got black trousers, black jumpers, black coats so I just kind of am thinking a little bit more outside the box with say the brown jacket or this lighter coat and how I can bring some slightly different tones in there um, I talk all the time about liking some more natural tones so I think this really fits along that kind of colour palette but it's just something a bit different and again I think it will go really nicely with the jacket um, it'll go with kind of an all beige look or an all kind of lighty look um, or kind of green and it also really pairs nicely with my Chloe army green bag um, I think it would look nice with this kind of shade with whites and then with blacks as well so I do think these will be really useful I always get a lot of wear out of my heeled boots like this I've got a black pair from Naked Fashion which I have worn so much and I just find that they're really useful in the autumn winter to go with pretty much everything from jeans to dresses to skirts um, so I think they're a really useful piece and I just love this heel on them as well I think that's so cool really love these and I think they look so nice with gold jewellery as well so um, yeah definitely a great purchase if you're looking for a heeled boot with a bit of a twist that's still very wearable so thanks so much for watching I hope that's been useful to you um, as always I want my videos to help you in your wardrobe and cultivate your wardrobe and as always with any hauls or any kind of new in pieces or just any video that I show you I am not saying go out and buy every single one of these pieces at all I'm saying go into your wardrobe assess what you're kind of missing or what you could really benefit from say for example you wanted a jacket that would work really well for evening then maybe um, looking to purchasing that or if you're wanting more of a warmer jacket um, but yeah by no means am I suggesting go out and buy these this is my job to show you these pieces I'd love to know your favorite pieces below or favorite piece I mean, I feel like I love every piece I've shown you. I don't do hauls with like, you know, 20 pieces on the rack. I'm just trying to be a lot more selective at the minute about the pieces that um, I am choosing. I think it works so much better when you actually sit down and have a think about it. So uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.